how do you speak to people you haven't spoke to in years? <laughs> You know, the question was, uh, most of them were from a restaurant job, and it really doesn't matter. Um, I, I think you kind of do the same thing. And um, for someone that you haven't spoken to in a lot of time, there's a couple schools of thought. One, one training says you need to spend some time rebuilding rapport with the person. So you invite them out to go eat lunch or coffee, and you go out and you meet them two or three times. Um, and then you bring up the business. And personally, I really feel like that's a little bit inauthentic because the purpose of you calling them wasn't to re rekindle a friendship. The purpose for calling them was to introduce them to your company. So personally, I, I have seen better results and I've had you know people in my organizations have much better results when you're just open and honest. You know, I think honesty is always the best policy. So, um, you know, it kind of goes something like this. And I, I've had, I actually had, uh, did a little training with someone over this and they created, uh, David Townsend created a video on this and rolled it out to his organization and people really had, you know, great, great results from it. And so what I recommend is just being upfront. You call someone you haven't talked to in a long time and say, hey, John, you know, it's Matt, listen, we haven't talked in a long time. I'd love to catch up. Uh, that's not really the purpose of my call. I've, you know, I'm involved in a company, I'm a partner in a marketing company and, you know, looking for some sharp people and I know we work together or we went to school together or we whatever and, you know, you are always a super ambitious, bright, sharp, whatever you can authentically compliment them on, give them a compliment and I just wanted to call and see if you're open to taking a look at what we're doing. And, you know, you're going to get a yes or a no. And if they feel like they're awkward or, you know, it was bad of you to, you know, call them after several years and, um, you know, approach them on something business related, um, you know, you haven't really lost anything. You hadn't talked to them in years anyway. And so you need to kind of lose the emotional attachment um, to having people like you. And one of the things that I believe is definitely very true in this business is, if you have this great need for pe everyone to like you, you're going to have a very hard time building the business because um, you just not everyone is going to like everything that you do. Not everyone loves network marketing. Not everyone loves sales. Not everyone loves being an entrepreneur. And so don't try to have everyone like you. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying go try and be a jerk. You don't have to try and be a jerk. Um, but at the same time, stop stop with the need for everyone's approval. So I hope that helps answer your question. Give it a shot and let's see if it works for you.